wow. when I came back to this dimension, when I was brought out of the coma, I didn't at first even understand this dimension. During COVID, I was still within several systems of despair in my life. I had financial situations that I couldn't, was struggling to meet, and I wasn't able to make what I thought I had planned to do when I came down to LA. I wasn't meeting the goals that I had set for myself, and I got into a depression. I also, in during the end of COVID in 2020, when this book came out, I was suffering in silence in some ways, which is sometimes what I can tend to do. And I went through a relapse. And I was got back into some sort of, well, some denial that I was denying the fact that I struggled before. Mm. And I thought I was better than I was before, but that isn't true. An alcoholic is an alcoholic is an alcoholic, whether they drink or not. And yeah. the men mental state that I was in was certainly not in my ultimate highest good. And during one of those relapses, I ended up having an accident and I fell from my balcony three stories to the pavement. I don't remember exactly what happened because I think in some ways I'm being protected by that conscious recollection of it. Mm. I was in some ways blacked out even from that last experience that I had in physical form before I landed, pun seriously <laughs> intended, landed myself into a medically induced coma. And I fractured my hip, my femur, my ribs. I had a collapsed lung. I shattered my right arm and was put into a coma that lasted six weeks. Wow. And when I came back to this dimension, when I was brought out of the coma, I didn't at first even understand this dimension. It was very difficult for me to understand and come back from that dark place. I think in some ways, I very much had to get this last piece of the puzzle of self-love down. I thought and could relate to the understanding that I was lovable, but I never really got there physically. Even with my own intuition, I knew that there was something missing from the self-love that I was able to accept into my body. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Press that little button, the red one, you know, the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Mm -hmm. In the fifth, in the fourth chakra here, which is how we receive love, I was still blocked. And much of the initial recovery in the rehab centers that I was in phys for physical rehab, I just would intuitively look clairvoyantly at what was available for my healing. And I just saw the color green, which mm. represents the love and represents the heart chakra. And as even I touch my heart now, I can feel the warmth that, that brings into my body. And the gratitude that I have for that experience is immense. And I know I wasn't done. I know that very much I wasn't done on earth. I still have much to do on earth. And I first know that my book is going to be my next big major project. Going back to my memoir is very important. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm here. I know that you have it within you to recover from whatever you're feeling whatever you're going through. Last year, right before the accident that nearly killed me and broke me open even further, I wrote a chapter that you mentioned in the book that we talked about before, Broken Open, because I'd never believed that we were broken apart by experiences that we would feel that we might not like. We're not broken down, we're broken open, open to more love, open to more compassion for ourselves, open to more understanding, 
and open to have awareness for whatever lesson we chose to learn. And we do choose these experiences from a divine sense of self and the soul plan in order for us to learn and grow and evolve as a soul entity in the third dimensional realm, which is, which is what we're all here to do. The important thing for people to remember is hope. That the experiences that they have, even if they feel painful at the time or hard on the body, ultimately are for your highest good. And mm -hmm. the divine plan would pursue itself to your greatest evolution. And mindfulness is important to remember to have in these moments that you're suffering, that there is hope to guide you through the darkness that you might be experiencing right now, because I know that you have it within you to recover from whatever you're feeling, whatever you're going through, whatever addiction you might be facing, if it's addiction that you're facing, is available to be healed. You have the capacity within you to heal through this moment if you're suffering right now. I think people get caught up in the victim mentality. Like, why is this happening to me? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, my life sucks. These people in my life. Then there's a blame on the outside world. Um, and, you know... It's a very just... disempowering narrative to have. When yeah. you have a mindset of lack, you feel like you're this ball that everybody's kicking, which isn't the case. You're the phoenix like I have on my arm that I had for many years before this accident. Phoenix rises again every time. And you might ask yourself, how many more times do I have to deal with this? How many more times do I have to get up from the floor of my house, of my life? How many times do I have to get up and go through my day and live with this? And my answer to that is always the same. Just one more time. Yeah. That's it. That's all that God wants of you is to just have you get up one more time. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Yeah, one more time and to, and to see and to have that empowering perspective back and say, well, what is there for me? I think the moment mm -hmm. that you step out of this victim or it's them or how how is this world doing this to me and you say, how does this serve me? If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.